Good morning, Jonathan again. This video is going to be more on scroll sawing and how I do my snowflake type shapes and the tree of life. Not sure if you can see that clearly. So this is made from pine, not plywood. Uh, and what I've done with this is I've got the image on. I have used a scroll saw, got it out. Used the Dremel to round over the bits and then stained it green. Now, I've made this out of this material. Now what I do is I go on the internet, I find an image I like. I'm going to do these two today. And I use this stuff, cellulose uh, thinners, doesn't have to be this brand or acetone works well, transfer it right onto the board. Now, this one I'm going to do on pine. The reason I'm going to do this on pines, if you look at the image, there's lots of support around the edges. This one, there's lots of free hanging stuff, so I'm going to do this one on a piece of oak. Now these are basically 1x8s. Uh, it's uh, 1 inch thick and should be pretty, pretty straightforward to go through. So a lot of this video is going to be on high speed because scroll sawing is a bit boring to watch. Um, I'll show you the transfer process and then we'll start cutting it out. Alright, there we have our two images done out. There's the fine one. There's the oak one. I had a little bit of shifting on the paper on the bottom of this. It's fine. I just sketch it in with a pencil. If you don't have a laser printer, don't worry about it. Get your image, which I've just torn, and just glue it onto the board. Then you have a pattern that you can follow. Or you can use carbon paper, put it down, trace it through. Alright, now that I've got these done, I'm just going to touch them up with a pencil and then I'm going to shorten them up a little bit on the bandsaw and uh, start with the scroll. Okay, that was simple. Now we have our two shapes. Roughly cut out. I don't mind if the circle is not perfect, because I will need to sand it later. What I need to do is make some holes in this, so I can get my scroll saw blades through. So, I have a drill press. Uh, I like to use as large a diameter drill bit as I can. It makes it a bit easier to get the scroll saw blade through. Alright, I'm going to use an 8mm wood bit to get through this. Um, now as always I'm going to put some links down in the description if uh, you want to see any of the tools I'm using find out where to get them. Down in the description I will put uh, uh, some affiliate links to it. It's I might earn commission from them but it's uh, I don't work for any of them. It's just uh, to help you guys out if that's what you if you want to use exactly the stuff I use. Okay, as you can see, I've drilled the holes. The tedious thing about this is I've got to put this little blade for each and every one of those holes, so it takes a bit of time. And I start with the oak one first because the pine one has got a lot more. It takes time. Okay, so I'm going to be using my new Record Power uh, SS16V scroll saw. It is a Small compact scroll scroll. I know there's better ones out there. This works fine for me. It was only 90 pounds, so I love it. It's already paid for itself. 
I wish it was a little more, a little more power, but that's fine. So everything can't be in a rush. Now somebody has, <coughs> using the pinless blades, you've got this hokey little Allen key. Yeah. One of the subscribers has recommended a wing bolt for it, which I have not purchased yet. But I'm going to, and hopefully it will make this bit of it a little less tricky. Like that goes in there, that's like that. Now I haven't used the scrolls on oak before, so I'm curious as to how this how well this is gonna work. Feels good. All right, that is the oak one all carved out. That took a while. Uh, that was at least an hour and a half or so. The pine ones are <laughs> thankfully a bit quicker, but the oak one, it's uh, I'm quite happy with the detail that's come out. Now I'm going to go on to rounding over some of this, and for this I'm going to use the uh, jur grit bits I've just got. This is a six-piece wood carving bits. And for these, I will use my Dremel. Experimented with these yesterday, and I'm really happy with how they work. All right, so let's get started on that. All right, first bit of the jerk grits I'm going to use is that one. This is possibly my most common bit, whether it is a wood burr or a uh, saber tooth or a saber bit. Sorry. Um, I like that shape, it works well for me. All right, let's get started. Right, I'm gonna start with the saber. These are nice, they are slightly more aggressive than I would normally use at this point, but Hey, let's give it a go. I really prefer the cuts all to uh, the saber for this particular task. Um, the also is the point that the saber is a bit more of an aggressive uh, bit, but the cuts all it's um, it's working quite nicely. All right, going to go back to green saber, the cone. Trying to match ones with what I have with the jura bit. So again, this is quite an aggressive uh, medium grit for the saber. Well, that is the fine for the uh, jura bit. Last comparison I will do is with these wood burrs. Now these do not; these are 
quite cheap off of uh, Amazon. But these do not work very well on pine. Um, they clot up too quickly and they leave quite a rough cut. So I'm going to try them on oak, which I've not used them before, and see how they work. So, got my square top round one in. Out of all three of those, Jura Grit, Cutsall, Sabre, and Cheap Wood Burr. On this particular piece of oak, the Wood Burr is definitely working the best. It removes roughly the same amount as the Sabre does, but it gives a much smoother finish. Which means, if you can see there lots of lines it means uh, it the saber removes a lot of wood but I'm gonna have to do a lot of time sanding it where the wood burr it's still removing material but it gives a much smoother maybe 80 grit 120 grit finish that means I'm gonna have to spend much less time sanding which makes me happy so on the whole for oak the wood burrs definitely are working the best the nice thing about it too is they don't clog up Whereas the Sabres, not really clogging up, the Jurgrits definitely are, but they are more of a fine sanding tool anyway. The only problem is, the wood burrs on pine are awful. They just clog up and they're almost useless. Whereas Sabre are definitely the best. So, my recommendation, depending on what wood you're using, it's a, you're going to have to kind of figure it out. I like, I find I use them all. Okay, that's basically it. Lots of sanding, lots of work. There it is. I've given the I've tried to give the true trunk a bit of a twist. Uh, somebody didn't uh, film is when I'm trying to get in those details. I use one of these detail sanders. I believe you'd get them from a uh, Axminster, which is where I got mine. They're not cheap. They're about. 19 pounds plus shipping, but they work really well for getting in and doing the grit. I think you get four pens, uh, 80 grit up to 320. So it's a, yeah, I like them. All right, so now that we've done this, it's time to stain. Now I'm going to use some of the Crimson Guitar Green, basically what it's called. It's a spirit stain. It really stinks. Make sure you are open air. At the very least. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dribble a little bit of this in here. And I'm going to start, I'm just going to slather it on. 
I haven't used this stain on oak before, but it works really well on pine. I've done some of the, uh, the some little seahorses I sell. I've used the reds, but not the uh, green. Nice thing about it, it's literally it's just one coat. Slap it on, it dries really fast. It's nice and absorbent. I don't have to worry about it streaking or leaving marks. Uh, it's definitely one of the best stains I've found out there. Alright, quick sanding tip. When I have to sand inside there, a lot of the time I use all sorts of things. What I found best is I get belt sanding sheets and I cut them into strips. So this is a 240 grit. The nice thing about this as opposed to regular sanding, it's really strong. So I get it in there and basically do that. step is a clear coat. Uh, this is acrylic. This will probably take two or three. Okay that's it. So now we've got both of them done. We've got our oak one. Came up quite nicely. And we've got the pine one. Didn't show the pine one on the video. That uh, took a little bit uh, uh, less time than the oak one. The oak one took a surprisingly large amount of time. I hope you were able to take something from that. Uh, if you have any questions, if you liked it, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, leave a comment. And mostly thanks for watching.